die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. So where did is Jesus' origin? Not from the earth. He came from heaven. If anyone eats this bread, he will live forever. The bread that I will give for the life of the world is my flesh. John 3, 31. Yahya, John the Baptist, says, He who comes from above is above all. He who is of the earth belongs to the earth and speaks in an earthly way. Now we know that Isa came from above. He was born to a virgin by the Spirit of God, both in the Quran and the Bible. The Spirit of God was directly responsible for the pregnancy of Mary. That's how he came from above. I have seven minutes, brother. He, has, he who comes from above is above all. Now we know that Muhammad and every other prophet, every other messenger, had a mother and a father. They came from the earth. But Isa, the eternal word of Allah, the eternal word of God, came from above. Again, John chapter 8, verse 23. He said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you uh, that you would die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am He, you will die in your sins. Did you know that unless you believe that Jesus is the Lord, the eternal divine Word of God, you will die in your sins. Now, how can we be saying that Jesus is the Word of God and yet also be saying He's the Son of God? Well, one is speaking of a revelation from God and the other is speaking of His personhood. He is a person. Now, this is how many of the prophets spoke about the Word of God. For instance, in 1 Kings chapter 18, verse 1, After many days, the word of Yahweh, or the word of the Lord, came to Elijah in the third year, saying, Go show yourself to Ahab. So the word of the Lord which came to Ahab spoke to Ahab. The word of the Lord is seen as a person. Again, in Psalm 107, verse 20, he sent out His Word to heal them and delivered them from their destruction. Again, Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my Word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which I sent it. If Jesus is the Word of God, then He is absolutely divine. Since Muslims also believe, and this is my challenge today, and this is what I would like you to explain. If Muslims also believe the Quran is eternal, and they accuse Christians of shirk because we believe Jesus is the Word of God, Muslims say the Quran is the Word of God, something with God eternally. How come it is that you say we're committing shirk when we say that Isa is the eternal word of God with God eternally? We believe in one God. How can something, the Quran or the mother of books, with us be eternal alongside Allah and that not be, uh, that not be against Tawheed? And by the way, Tawheed is not a word we find in the Qur'an. Unless you are saying that the word of Allah is Allah, which you are when you say that it is one of His attributes. If you say the word of Allah is Allah, or that it is eternal, you are saying the word of God is God. Because you cannot divide Him into parts. Now, what do Christians believe? We believe in one God who is eternally the Father, His Word, and His Spirit. The Father, His Word, His eternal divine Word, and His Spirit. These are all persons which are included in the divine nature of the one God. And surprisingly, they are all mentioned in the Quran. 
For instance, in chapter 21, Ayah 91, it says, We breathed our spirit into the skirt of Maryam, and we made her and her son a sign unto mankind. So Allah has a spirit, and Allah has a word. How can we make a distinction between three persons, but still say they are fully God? Now, Muslims do this all the time when they talk about the attributes of God. One, you will talk about the mercy of God. And you will say that's an attribute of God. And then you will talk about another name of Allah. You say He has 99 names. You then talk about the justice of Allah. So you make a distinction between justice and mercy. Only you cannot divide God into parts and say God is part just and part merciful. He is one God, yet you make distinctions between His attributes. In the same way, we can make distinctions between the Word of Allah, Jesus, the Spirit of Allah, and the Father. We make distinctions between them. The Word of God is distinct from the Spirit of God, and the Spirit of God is distinct from the Father God, and yet they are one God we are not breaking God into parts. We are not breaking God into parts. I want to conclude by saying, the scriptures are clear. Jesus is the Word of God. It is up to you to decide whether you will embrace the mystery whether you embrace the full revelation of God that came through Jesus Christ. Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Then Thomas said to him, How can you say that you're going to the Father? And Jesus says, Thomas, if you have seen me, you have seen the Father. I am in the Father. The Father is in me. Jesus says in John chapter 10, verse 30, I and my Father are one. We don't have two gods. We have one God. It's up to Muslims if you will believe in the full revelation of God that has come to you in the person of Jesus Christ and embrace Him as Lord and Savior. Thank you very much. Brother Jesse, also for emphasizing on peace. Inshallah, I'm going to invite the second speaker, who happens to be the Lion of Dawa in Africa as a continent. <laughs> Senior lecturer, the president of Dawa in Kenya, Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullahi Takmi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Our Christian brothers, may the peace and blessings of God be upon you. Alhamdulillah. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah al-qaniyu amma siwa al-muftaqiru ilayhi kullama hada. Wa nashadu anna sayyidina wa nabiyina wa maulana muhammadun abduhu wa rasooluhu wa habibuhu wa mustafa Salawatu alayhi wa baraka ala alihi wa sahabihi wa man nasarahu wa wala ama ba'd It's always a pleasure as Muslims to thank and praise Allah Most merciful, most gracious, sustainer of all Peace and blessings be upon the universal messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's another opportunity, another great opportunity to stand in front of our Muslim brothers. And our brothers from Adam, our Christian brothers, we are not here for a fight, but we're here 
to seek the truth and the truth will set us free. First of all, the topic is, is Jesus really divine? This is the topic. First of all, as Muslims, Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala has given us the Holy Quran. My time is limited. So I will just ask my Christian brothers, when I get to read a verse, please you check in your Bible. Then you come here, you say, you read something from your own head. If you see I'm reading anything from my own head, come here and say, stop. Let's get that one from the book. Because I don't have time. Everything will come from the books. The first thing, I'll start from his last point. He said, they have one God. But that one God, Jesus himself, is in that God. So they become three. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. But if you read in the book of Matthew, 28 verse 18, Jesus says, Go and baptize them, all nations, and baptize them in the name of the Father. Person in the name of the Son. Another person in the name of the Holy Spirit. Another person. One plus one plus one equals two. You'll get the calculations later. <laughs> Secondly, he brought a verse from the book of John 10 verse 30. Jesus says, I am in the God and God in me. We don't mind about that. Even the children of Jesus, even the children of Israel, even the disciples of Jesus, according to Jesus' words, even I, Sheikh Ibrahim, is in Jesus and Jesus is in God. And I, Sheikh Ibrahim, is in God. How can, can I am a God? No. In the book of John 17 verse 21, Jesus says, Jesus says, I'm in you, and they are in me. As I am in you, they are in you, so that all of us become one. So we are in Jesus, Jesus in God, we are in God, God in us. Are we gods? Another big question. <laughs> Secondly, he brought a verse. I'm starting from where I started, going backwards. Because I'll even give David a little bit of a dose about his words up here. <laughs> he brought a verse from the book of John 14 verse 6. Jesus proclaims and says, I am the way, the truth, and life. No one comes to the Father except through my way. We don't deny. Jesus says, I am the way. Yes, correct. Jesus spoke of three things. The way, the truth, and life. What is the way? Each and every prophet was a way. Even Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam was the way to go to Allah. Quran, chapter 12, Surah Yusuf, verse 108. Qul hadihi sabili. Say, oh Muhammad, this is my way. Even Muhammad is the way to Allah. Not only Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Secondly, we come He brought a verse from Surah Al-Nisa, verse 171. It says, Oh ye yeah, children of the book, oh ye yeah, people of the book, don't say, don't speak lies about God. Speak of what is truth. Really, Masihi, Masihi, no problem. The Holy Quran has said Masihi. I can say water in English. I can say Maji in Kiswahili. In my mother tongue, I can say Bio. What is in the river never changes. Masihi is a Hebrew word. In English, is an anointed one. In Swahili, Aliya Teuliwa. Awe Nabi, Aumfalme. In English, one who is anointed to be a prophet or to be a king. Or whatever the one you want to put, just put it the way you will like. But Masihi is in Hebrew. Christ is in Greek. If you say Christ, you mean he is anointed. So this one, thank you very much for proclaiming about the Quran and saying that the Quran says that Jesus is Masihi. If the Quran says Jesus is Masihi, it means he has been chosen to be a prophet. Secondly, you must distinguish between the two, the two, uh, you must be distinguished between the two nouns. These nouns, between the two nouns in the genetic construction of the words. That's English. 
You say Jesus is a word of God. We don't deny Jesus is a word of God. Thank you very much. You brought here from your Bible, the book of John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning, there was a word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Here, three things are being spoken. In the beginning, there was a word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. First, in the beginning, there was a word. In the beginning, there was God. After God, there is the word. After word, then it comes back to God. So word and God, who is first? In the beginning, there was a word. And the word was with God. So without God, the word cannot be with God. That is why Allah said to Mary, in the stomach of Mary, kun fayakun, Jesus and he was. Another one. In the Holy Quran, chapter 3, verse 69, Allah says, Inna mafala Isa inda Allahi ka mafali Adam. Khalaqahum min turabin. Thumma qala lahu kun fayakun. The likeness of Adam, the likeness of Jesus to, is, to Allah is the likeness of Adam. He said, be and they were. That is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created people in four different ways. So that you as a man, you can understand. The first person, he created Adam. Without a woman, without a man second person Eve, the woman from a man without a woman that is ever how the third person me and you uh, jesus christ from only a woman without a father first without a man without a woman second from only a man without a woman third from only a woman jesus without a father fourth me and you you know what our parents did and we're here this is all by the wheel and the command of Jalla Jalal. <laughs> he brought a verse from the Holy, from the Bible. He said that the Bible says that Jesus is the word of God. Me and him, we are also the words of God. These heavens and these earths are also the words of God. Why should I say so? If you open your Bibles, the book of Psalms, 33 verse 6 says, I am the God. I am the creator. I created the world and I made the world through my word. I said the heavens be and they were. In the book of Job, 33 verse 4, he says, from my spirit and my word, I made you, Mr. Jesse, and Sheikh Ibrahim and the rest, plus Jesus. We are all men. If we are men, then definitely we are men. So Jesus becomes a man. And if he becomes a man, he cannot be God. In the book of Malachi, 3 verse 6 says, God never changes, he becomes God. So God can never come down and change to be a man. No, he's eternal. Why? Jesus says in the book of John, 4 verse 24, he says, you should worship God in spirit and truth. Because God is spirit, you can never see spirit. When Jesus went to his disciples, in the book of Luke, 24 verse 36, he told his disciples, look at my hands, look at my legs, look at myself. I have flesh. I have bones. The spirit doesn't have flesh, doesn't have bones as you see I am. I am a man. I am not God. Don't be disappointed. Don't be astonished. I am the same Jesus that was sent by God. So there is God and there is Jesus. What does the Quran say about Jesus? Allah, so we as Muslims, we are Ulul Albab, we are people of understanding. That's why Allah has given us a religion. Which religion? Al Islam. Inna dina and Allahi Al Islam. Definitely the religion before Allah is Islam. And if you become a Muslim, you become a wise man. Let me go back a little bit to the sonship of God. I, I, I hit David. David brought a verse from the book of Luke 126 when they were with our boy here. Jesus on 126 he said, can the angels lie? The angels are not lying. But I, David, I think you come from America or wherever you come from.